Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll run through the functions and how to set up the indoor display for the IC XC0432. To get started, install the batteries into the outdoor sensor. Unscrew the battery door on the base of the unit and insert the batteries according to the polarity indicated. Screw the battery door compartment on tightly, ensuring the O-ring remains seated. Next, install the three AA batteries into the indoor console. To do this, slide off the battery cover, insert the batteries, observing the polarity, then replace the battery door. The display unit will then automatically search for and connect to the outdoor wireless 5-in-1 sensor. Once the connection is successful, the antenna mark and readings for outdoor temperature, humidity, wind speed, wind direction and rainfall will all appear on the LCD. On the screen, you can see the time, moon phase and date. Under the indoor section, there's a comfort indicator as well as indoor humidity and temperature information. The alert and alarm icons appear in the center when they are set. Under the outdoor section, there's a signal strength indicator as well as outdoor humidity and temperature. Again, the alert and alarm icons will appear in the center if they are set. And in the bottom section, there's a 12 hour forecast icon. These are all the available icons and what they mean. Next is a barometer. This has an absolute or relative indicator, uses selectable measurement units, the barometer reading and histogram. You can select to view the rainfall reading and historical records with a histogram in the same section. Next is a wind direction wind speed icon. This displays the current wind direction, wind direction from the last hour, wind speed, wind level, Beaufort scale reading, average gust indicator, selected wind speed unit, and the high alert and alarm icon will appear here if it's been set. And lastly, in the bottom corner, you can select to view either wind chill, heat index, or indoor dew point. Starting with manually setting the clock. To do this, press and hold the clock button on the back of the unit for two seconds until 12 or 24 hour starts to flash on the LCD. Use the up and down selection buttons on the back to adjust, then press the clock button again to proceed to the next setting. Repeat these steps, clock to accept and move to the next setting and the up and down arrows to adjust the hour, minute, second, year, month, day, hour offset, language and daylight savings time. Next, we'll demonstrate how to turn on or off the alarm clock with isolate function. Press the alarm button on the back to show the alarm time. Press the alarm button again to activate the alarm. Press the alarm button a third time to activate the alarm with isolate function. To disable the alarm, press until the icon disappears. To set the alarm time, press and hold the alarm on the back of the unit for two seconds to enter the alarm setup mode. The hour will then begin to flash. Press the up and down selection arrows on the back to adjust the hour. Then press alarm to confirm. Repeat the same to set the minute. The next is barometric pressure setup. The device contains a built-in sensitive pressure sensor and software that predicts the weather for the next 12 to 24 hours within a 30 to 50 kilometer radius. Since variation in atmospheric pressure greatly affects the weather, it is possible to forecast the weather by measuring the changes in pressure. To select the pressure display mode, press and hold the barrow button for two seconds to toggle between absolute, this is the absolute atmospheric pressure of your location, or relative, this is the relative atmospheric pressure based on the sea level. If you have selected to have relative atmospheric pressure to be displayed, you can set the value. To do this, get the atmospheric pressure data of the sea level through either your local weather service or the internet. Then when relative is flashing on the screen, press the barrow button again until the atmospheric pressure value flashes. Then press the up and down arrows on the back to adjust the value. When set, press the barrow button again to save and exit the barometric pressure setting mode. At any time you can move between the displayed units of barometric pressure by pressing the barrow button. Select between inches of mercury, millimetres of mercury and hectopascals. The next is rainfall information setup. To view rainfall data and adjust rainfall settings, press the rainfall button. Then press the rainfall button again to toggle between the rainfall rate for the past hour, daily, weekly or for monthly records. To select a rainfall measurement unit, press and hold the rainfall button for two seconds to enter into the unit setting mode. 
Then use the up and down selection arrows on the back to toggle between millimetres or inches. Make your selection, then press rainfall again to exit. Next is wind speed and direction settings. To select the wind display mode, press the wind button to toggle between average. This will display the average of all wind speed numbers recorded in the past 30 seconds or gust. This is the gust speed that displays the highest wind speed recorded from the last reading. To select a wind speed unit, press and hold the wind button for two seconds to enter into unit setting mode. Use the up and down arrows on the back to change between miles per hour, meters per second, kilometers per hour or knots. When your required unit is on screen, press wind to confirm and exit. Press the index key to move between wind chill, heat index and dew point display on the bottom right hand side of the screen. The next is data history. The display unit automatically records and displays data of the past 24 hours on the hour. To check the recorded history data from the past 24 hours, press the history button. The time and all captured parameters will be displayed on the screen. Every press of the history key moves the time and data back in hourly increments. Press the maximum and minimum button to check the maximum and minimum records. Here you can scroll through outdoor maximum and minimum temperature, outdoor maximum and minimum humidity, indoor maximum and minimum temperature, indoor maximum and minimum humidity, the same for heat index, dew point, pressure, and wind speed, view the maximum gust and maximum rainfall. You can clear these records by pressing the max min button for two seconds. And lastly, we have alert setup. High low alerts are designed to inform you of certain weather conditions. When thresholds are exceeded, an alarm will turn on and an amber LED will start to flash. To set the high low alerts, press the alert button until the desired area is selected. Use the up and down selectors on the back to adjust the setting. Then press alert again to confirm. To enable or disable any high low alerts, press the alert button until the desired area is selected. Then press the alarm key to turn the alert on or off. When the alerts are on, a small icon will appear next to the parameter. Once turned on or off, press alert to continue to the next setting. And that's how to set up the IC XC0432 Digital Weather Station. For more information on this or other weather stations, speak with an instrument choice scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or you can view further contact information in the video description. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.